Hey, it's Lee here again with Dispute B. Welcome back to our next video where I'm going to show you what to do after you've sent out a round of dispute letters. So up until this point, you've probably generated your first batch of dispute letters. You have probably printed those out and possibly mailed them. And after you mail them, your next step is going to be waiting for a response from the collectors or the creditors or the credit bureaus or whomever you mailed these letters to. So I'm going to select all of these letters here. This is just, these are some sample accounts from a sample credit report and I'm going to mark these letters as being sent. So at this point, if you've actually sent these letters in the mail and you're waiting for a response, let's pretend that two weeks of time have gone by and now you've actually started to get some replies from either the collectors or the credit bureaus or companies who pulled an inquiry or whomever it is. One thing I want you to know is don't get discouraged if you initially get some replies back that say they are not going to do anything about your dispute. That's actually a normal part of the credit repair process even for items that eventually get successfully removed we have letters that are designed to be sent back to the credit bureaus in that case. So once you do start getting replies, you're probably wondering what to do next. Well, all you're going to do is click on this button that says Received Reply. In this list are going to be all of the companies whom you have sent a letter to and are still waiting on a response from. So let's assume that you received a response back from TransUnion. I'm going to click on TransUnion and you will see a list of any letters you've sent to TransUnion which have not uh, been responded to by TransUnion. So if I click on this collection, Round 1 Bureau letter, that means that this is a letter that I sent them. This was, letter was in the previous list that I just marked as sent. It's going to automatically recognize which accounts were listed on that letter and it's going to ask you did any of these items get successfully deleted now if any items did get deleted you can check those here if no items got deleted don't select anything but you will still click save response so let's say in this case um, let's pretend that TransUnion replied and they did not delete any items uh, from your first dispute letter don't worry, that's actually quite normal. Sometimes it takes several rounds of correspondence back and forth with a credit bureau before you get an item removed. So at this point, you would leave these uh, all unselected and you just click Save Response. The next thing you're going to do is click on this button that says Follow Up Letter. In this case, you can see there's now a collection round two letter ready to be sent back to TransUnion and it has all of the same accounts listed on it. I'm going to click on this and generate the letter so you can see what it looks like. This letter is very similar to the first letter except the contents are written uh, in a more a little more of an angry manner and you can see all of the same accounts are still on it and you're still asking for them to be either verified or removed. The basic process you're going to go through is every time you generate a follow-up letter, you can send that right away. You don't need to wait. And at this point, now that you've sent that letter, the system will recognize that you are now waiting on a response from that new follow-up letter. So if I click on TransUnion again, you will see that it's now recognizing that I sent a collection round two letter to TransUnion and we're waiting uh, to get a response from that. So again, let's assume, let's assume that uh, some time has gone by and you've actually got a response from TransUnion uh, in response to your round two letter. And let's pretend that finally they did remove one of these accounts. They didn't remove all of them, but they deleted this ECMC account. You will select that and simply click save response. Now, a couple things has have happened here. First of all, if you click on this button that says Disputes Overview, you will see that for this ECMC furniture in the TransUnion column, it's been updated to reflect that it's been deleted. 
Now, there's still going to be an additional follow-up letter to send because remember, there were five accounts listed on that letter and only one account has been removed so far. So if you notice in this round three letter, there are now going to be four accounts on this letter. And let's take a look at what it looks like. Once again, this is just a slightly different letter and it's asking now for the four remaining accounts to be verified or removed. So you can start to see here what this process is going to look like. Every time you receive a reply, you're just going to select who did you receive a reply from. You'll select which letter it was in response to, and you'll indicate which accounts, if any, got removed. In this case, if you have a letter with a single account on it and it got removed, once you click Save Response, you will not see anything show up under follow-up letters because clearly there's nothing to follow up on since the only account that was listed on that letter got deleted. Now, with that said, um, you're also going to want to generate a new batch of disputes every 30 days. So on top of clicking the Receive Reply button anytime you get a reply, and on top of clicking the Follow Up Letter button every time you save a response, every 30 days you can also come here to the New Disputes area and pick a new batch of disputes to send. So in this case, you can select you know, a new batch of five here, and we'll create some of these letters, and you can send out this new batch of letters. That's gonna be your basic process. If you ever get lost, you can click on this little circular button with the B on it, and you can see a quick rundown of uh, what you need to do. So for example, in this case, it says step one, you currently have unsent letters in your outbox. Download, print, and mail these letters as soon as possible. Step two, it will say that you're currently waiting to receive replies from some companies. And step three, it'll tell you how many inquiries and negative accounts are left on your credit report. And it will tell you when you're going to be ready to create your next batch of five disputes. So in this case, this is 30 days from today since we just sent off a new round of disputes. And that's going to be your basic process. If you follow that process from month to month, you are very, very likely to encounter success in disputing your collections, your inquiries, your late payments, and your charge-offs. And if you get those items removed, you're going to see your credit score start to go up. If you have any questions about this process, feel free to reach out to me and ask me. Otherwise, stay tuned for our next video. Alrighty, thanks for watching.